I failed you, son. Forgive me. Forgive me. I will let you down no longer. Forgive me. Forgive me. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Gion mi mehocha, kavo je am prish kabe mi rish. You're too late. You will not get him. It'll work. It must. It was with great joy that I received your last letter. Know that you are missed terribly here in India. If my calculations are correct and the International Postal Service is kind, this letter will keep you company as you make the final leg of your journey to Scotland. I hesitate to say anything for fear you'll think me foolish, even hysterical. Your father made it his life's work to research his family's twisted history. This and his obsession with the occult combined to unravel his poor mind. John loved his family and his family home, but he hated and mistrusted them in equal measure. So, beware of the Gordons. Blood is not always thicker than water. Your loving mother. But, sir, how much longer until we reach the castle? Almost there, sir. Just like two hours ago. The estate really does lie off the beaten track. This countryside can be more different to India.
talked about a library, a key, and, and some sort of broken toy. Should I even try to read any real meaning into all of this? A note about a library, a key, and, and some sort of broken toy. Should I even try to read any real meaning into all of this? arrived, sir. Welcome, Mr. Gordon. I'm Andrew Harrison. Mr. Harrison, it's good to finally meet you. From our correspondence, I expected you to be older. Ah, uh, thank you. I'll lead the way. It's quite dark already. We can continue to talk inside. arrived, my lady. David, welcome to Skahandu House. Lady Margaret, how kind of you to welcome me in person at such a late hour. If I may, I would like to know more about my father's last days. It is too late in the day for such morbid talk. You do look so very much like John, though. An impressive building. Skahandu, though. Unusual. What, what is its meaning? Unusual only if you have not bothered to study Gaelic. It means Black Mirror House. Many generations of the Gordon family have been master of this house. It is a great responsibility. Perhaps the greatest a man could bear. Angus, please show Master David to his room. Yes, ma'am. I trust you had a pleasant journey. This place is rather remote, even for Scotland. It was most pleasing, thank you. I was fortunate enough to stop off in several fascinating places on my way here. How long have you been practicing law? I came to the bar a few years ago. I'm at Chambers in Edinburgh with lawyers who have served the Gordon family for generations. I'm embarrassed to ask, but it is my job. Have you proof of who you say you are? You are David Gordon, son of the late John Gordon. Please, I quite understand. Here you are. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. What a curious object. No, it's nothing. Just a trinket from India that I carry for luck. I see. I trust it brings you all the luck you deserve. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some work waiting for me in the library. I could not in good conscience sleep with it unfinished. I'll be staying in the house for a few days, so no doubt we'll bump into each other again. Don't worry, Mr. Gordon. You're in good hands here. Please follow me, Master David.
Your grandfather, his lordship Edward Gordon. There is no denying it. We are family. Somebody still cares. Maybe you weren't as bad as Mother believed. Grandfather Edward. Father never spoke of you, but Mother never had a kind word to say. You were the worst of the lot, she said. This way, sir. I suppose it's hard to keep things dry, what with all the rain you get here. A most amusing, Master David. We do our best, sir. None of us are as young as we used to be. Magnificent. That is the Master's study, sir, but there'll be plenty of time to examine it in the light tomorrow. I've annoyed the old fellow enough. First impressions count. I've annoyed the old fellow enough. First impressions count. If you would be so kind as to follow me, sir. Does that sometimes, sir? Lady Gordon expects you for breakfast at eight, sir. Thank you. Lady Gordon called you Angus? Uh, pleased to meet you, Angus. Yes, sir. She did. I am Mr. McKinnon. Uh, Mr. McKinnon. Yes. Um, I'd advise you not to leave the room tonight. Ticking clocks are not the worst thing you may encounter in the house at night, if you don't know your way around. Sleep well. Sir. Maybe he's more of a morning person. I doubt this place could ever be... I got somewhat turned around following Angus through the house. Sorry, Mr. McKinnon. But I think my room is probably around here somewhere. Glad I don't have to carry you around anymore. Mr. McKinnon lifted you up with ease. This handsome, cheery, sober man is not the one I remember from my childhood. Without some obscure local law that required me being here in person, I would probably never have come. <laughs> A pigeon amongst the cats. Sorry to inform you of death of John Gordon. Stop. Please return to Skahundu House. Stop. Andrew Harrison, lawyer. Stop. Hmm. 
Not many matches left. I should get a new passport. This one's filling up. Everything I ever owned could fit in there, five times over. I can barely see my hand in front of me. like this one, sooner or later no drawer stays empty. Pieces of some kind of drawing. How odd. The candle is nearly gone, but it should do for a while once lit. Just what I need. My faithful friend, Insomnia. I wonder if Andrew has left the library yet. We meet again, old foe. A dumb waiter, big enough to fit your own weight and food into. This isn't right. There should be a room here. Did you say something? Uh, it's nothing. Research can be a frustrating business. Ghosts, legends, ancient history. Where's the rest of them? The Castle of Otranto by Horace Walpole. I started reading this, though never got round to finishing it. The gentle maid whose hapless tale these melancholy pages speak. Say, gracious lady, shall she fail to draw the tear adown from thy cheek? Hmm. Despair, by a man called Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Ghastly shades of bygone gladness, clawing fiends of future sadness, mingle in a cloud of madness ever on the soul to lie. Thus the living, lone and sobbing, in the throes of anguish throbbing, with the loathsome furies robbing night and noon of peace and rest. 
But beyond the groans and grating of abhorrent life is waiting sweet oblivion culminating all the years of fruitless quest. The words of a troubled soul. Is this what father meant by a family of snakes? A note about a library, a key, and, and some sort of broken toy. Should I even try to read any real meaning? into all of this? Selected Poems by Edgar Allan Poe Take this kiss upon the brow and in parting from you now, thus much let me avow. You are not wrong who deem that my days have been a dream. Yet, if hope has flown away, in a night or in a day, in a vision or in none, is it therefore the less gone? All that we see or seem is but a dream within a dream. A dream within a dream. Shame. Attics often speak volumes about the owners of a house. More pieces of the same drawing. Maybe I can make out what it shows if I had enough of them. So few people around. Why even bother keeping the master's study locked? Wouldn't it be more comfortable working here? Uh, that's Lady Gordon's private desk. It would be improper for me to use it. Wouldn't it be more comfortable working here? Uh, that's Lady Gordon's private desk. It would be improper for me to use it.
If you don't mind, I have a system and don't want to mix things up. Lady Gorton is very keen on confidentiality. Of course. Hiding something, are we? Did you know my father? I was called to the house shortly after your father arrived. Why did that need a lawyer? Those complex local laws I spoke of were to blame. Your father left when Edward died, so none of the required legal formalities to transfer the house were observed. Does that mean...? Not at all. There will be no issue with transferring the estate to your name, if that is what you wish. I noticed that the door to the master's study is locked. Might I get a key for it? Of course. I will see to it that you are supplied with one, if there is one available. No door should be locked to the soon-to-be owner, after all. Uh, have you had a chance to examine my papers? I have, and am delighted to say that everything is in order. I would not be doing my job if I didn't warn you that with Edward dead and your father absent, the family fortune has somewhat diminished over the years. However, the real treasure is the castle and the grounds themselves. I haven't spent as much time as I'd like here, but it is a unique place. That looks... daunting. Daunting, but rewarding and fascinating. Fascinating? Yes, indeed. The history of the Gordon family goes back a long way. So it's true we are one of the oldest families in Scotland? Oh, much more than that. The Gordons have owned this land back into antiquity, before records were even kept. Add to that some unique and unusual local laws. Well, it can be a challenge, but a welcome one. Well, it's been a long day. I bid you good night. I'll get myself something to read and then head to bed too. Good night. <laughs>